This is Biker Dad, brought to you by Stevenson Klotz and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. This is not a show about motorcycles. Okay, it has some motorcycles in it. But deep down, it's really a show about people who use their passion for motorcycles to make their communities better, safer, and stronger. And people just doing crazy biker stuff too. This is Biker Dad. On this episode of the Biker Dad Show, we're gonna be taking you to New Orleans where bikers rally to help hurricane item victims bounce back. We rode from right here in downtown Mobile to Hammond, Louisiana, and New Orleans to deliver hurricane supplies. Those supplies were collected by Alabama bikers. So let's get started with the Biker Dad Show. First off, let's roll out to Louisiana. This is Biker Dad. So, uh, you know, after after Hurricane Ida passed through, uh, up through Louisiana, um, like I do every year, um, I say every year, but like I do, uh, I want to get involved in communities. I want to pitch in and I want to help. I want other people to pitch in and help as much as humanly possible. Um, so I started asking for donations um, Monday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and here today is Friday uh, from the restaurant. I've got a donations in. I bought a trailer from a buddy of mine and, uh, you know, found this place to another friend of mine uh, that, that was a hard hit area here in Louisiana um, that, that really needed to help this community, as you guys can tell. Got the foot behind me. This is just a, a small portion of the damage. This is just getting into it. Um, we, uh, we decided to make this a dropping point for the stuff that we had. And thank God we did because these folks need it. Uh, you know, when, when uh, disasters happen, uh, communities need to get involved uh, from far away. I mean, we're, you know, several hundred miles away from home right now and decided to, you know, to do this. It's not just me that's doing it. You know, other people chip in and help too. So that's what it takes in order to get these folks back up and going, uh, show a little sign of relief in their minds, um, in their hearts, knowing that uh, communities, the surrounding communities, um, you know, want them to, to do good and succeed and, and, um, and, and get through this in a positive way. So, you know, that's, that's why I'm here. God, I pray that you would give us uh, a spirit of wisdom and discernment to know how to steward the resources that you're pouring into this place and this church. Helps us distribute them wisely. Help us to capitalize on this moment and share the gospel with this community. And Father, just give us strength even in our bodies uh, day by day that you would help us to continue on. And Father, we pray uh, that this moment would be a moment that we look back on and remember not only for the difficulty, but for the opportunities that you opened up uh, to reach more people for Christ. So we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Brandon Langley. I'm the pastor here at St. Rose Community Church. Uh, we are at church plan about uh, coming up on our six-year-old birthday on Easter. Uh, it's a church replant, so this was uh, First Baptist St. Rose, started in the 50s, but it died, and uh, uh, all the property was donated, and, and uh, a new church was started in an old building. So here we are, we've been hit pretty hard by uh, the uh, uh, Hurricane Ida. Um, as far as I know, every standing structure in St. Charles Parish has been affected, and so of course that's affected all our church members, that's affected all of our community members. And so we're trying to get set up, handling all the logistics right now to set up a distribution center, set up a place where we can house mission teams, setting up a portable shower so they can take a shower at the end of the day, and uh, hopefully be running teams out of here for the next four to six weeks to provide aid to uh, our community. And so uh, we'll have you to pray for us, uh, please, and uh, uh, send teams, uh, send help as much as you can. Yeah, this pile of debris, uh, this was our education building. Um, uh, it was built in the 50s, uh, and it's been several things over the years, um, but it took on about six, eight inches of water uh, flood, and then it also came in from the top, so it pretty much soaked all the sea rock everywhere. So we've gutted it, and uh, now it's just sort of a warehouse for supplies until we figure out what to do with it, and hopefully insurance will give us something to help. This week I would have been working on sermon prep. I would have been meeting people, counseling people, doing ministry. And so this week I'm doing a different kind of ministry. <laughs> it's a different kind of opportunity. There's certain neighborhoods that have been hard to get into, hard to meet people to reach them for Christ. 
uh, now they're begging us to come in to help and to uh, and hopefully we'll see people will come to Christ because of it. So it's just a it's a new kind of opportunity. Sometimes I listen to this Navy SEAL guy who gives uh, uh, advice or like uh, uh, application of discipline type things, and he says when when things like this come up, your response should be good. I get an opportunity uh, to improve, opportunity to minister and. and and Christian ministry, that's what it is. I and mean, that's what Romans 8 tells us, right? For all things happen for the good of those who trust in Him. So, so yeah, good. We got a good opportunity to uh, do some ministry in this community. Thanks to all the bikers who donated to that cause. It was amazing to go over there and to see that pastor with a smile on his face after all of that disaster. You can still help too. Go to the Biker Dad blog, that's biker-dad.com, and we'll have a link for there for you to donate to the cause. legendary bike builder Rick Fairless in Dallas, Texas, where he has his uh, shop and everything else. And uh, thanks for joining us, Rick. And you got some uh, big stuff going on in the next couple weeks. Yeah, uh, we are actually having our 25th anniversary party and the Rick turned 65 party. So uh, we're expecting a big blowout. We're bringing in a band called Warrant. You old timers will remember Warrant from the 90s. One of their big hits was uh, Cherry Pie. I worked for uh, the, a company called uh, the Glidden Paint Company for 20 years. I liked it, but I always knew there was more there somewhere. And uh, and I just kept thinking, why can't somebody open a custom shop in, in Dallas? Why can't somebody do one in? Then it was like somebody hit me in the head and I thought, why can't that guy be me? And I thought, I can't do it. I'm just a, you know, I'm a working guy and, and you know, I, I've got, I've got this job and these kids. The more I've worked on it, the more roadblocks I hit. And every time I hit a roadblock, I went over it or under it or through it. To me, you can do whatever you want to do if you want to do it bad enough man give it everything you have because working for yourself is so much better than working for somebody else if you believe in yourself then then try it you'll be you'll be so much happy my philosophy has always been if people are going to go and everybody's going and everybody's turning right i'm going to turn to the left i'm going to do when well, everybody else starts going to the then i'm going to go you know, I always want to do something different. And the motorcycle deal was pretty easy because that's where my passion is. And, uh, you know, people will say, where do you come up with these crazy ideas and all those things? That's the easy part. It's your 65th birthday, the 25th anniversary of the shop. Yep. You got Warrant, there's a lot of other bands. And what else can we expect? We will get, during that three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll have over 10,000 people come through the doors, and it'll be, a, it'll be a zoo. We do a bikini contest, and we'll do a wet t-shirt contest, and we have these other bands that are coming through, and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a, a weekend-long celebration. Thank you for joining us, Rick Fairless from Dallas. We'll see you in a little bit less than a week. And, Okay. Um, be, I'm excited to meet you and see the shop and uh, party a little bit. Yep. No, I'll give you a big tour of the place, and I and I promise you, it's very eclectic, oh, and yeah. it'd be like no place you've ever seen before. Awesome. Looking forward to it. All right, pal. For my full unedited interview with Rick Fairless, go to the Biker Dad YouTube page, and while you're there, hit subscribe to get all of our latest videos and the latest episodes of our TV show too. His birthday party is October 1st through 3rd. I'm gonna be traveling there and I can't wait to meet him and see all that cool stuff there at Strokers Dallas. We'll have a bunch of stuff on future episodes of the Biker Dad Show. Also coming up, I'm going to Myrtle Beach Bike Week and Biketoberfest in Daytona. Hit me up if there's an event that you think I should go to. Here's the Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson Bike of the Week. Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson Bike of the Week. This week's Bike of the Week is at home on the street or in the dirt. It's the new Harley-Davidson Pan America 1250. 
and we get to ride this special edition. This comes with all of the extra blank. They say it's a game changer, a Harley Davidson like no other Harley Davidson ever built. It's the Harley that can go anywhere. So let's take it somewhere and see if it lives up to the hype. Harley-Davidson that was comfortable on dirt since, heck, they haven't made one in my lifetime. This is obviously not terrain that I would uh, ride my street bob into. This thing is sure-footed in the grass and the dirt on the street. It's pretty cool. This bike is so awesome, it's even endorsed by Aquaman himself. It's the destination and rode across continents. You who climbed uncharted mountains, who raged through desert sand and faced the fury of ice and snow. It has always been your relentless spirit for adventure that's pushed us to take you further. I am the Pan America, forever exploring. I am Harley Davidson. I'd like to introduce to you Martha Harris, owner of Eagles Talon Motorcycles in Pensacola and one of the most patriotic people you'll ever meet. I'm a patriot through and through. I will not let you disrespect my flag. Martha is a veteran, a retired firefighter, and one of the biggest supporters of our biker community. I absolutely love the motorcycle community and the riders and they make this all worth my while. So please stop by and visit Eagles Talon for your leather, patches, apparel, and a whole lot more. Eagles Talon on Copter Road in Pensacola, one of my favorite places in the world. Mobile Bay Harley Davidson is the king of motorcycle credit. Good credit, bad credit, we'll get you riding. With over 150 new and used motorcycles available, we have a motorcycle for you and your budget. New Harley Davidson motorcycles starting as low as $119 a month. The professional team in Motor Clothes is also here to help make sure that you're geared up for the riding season from head to toe. Come on down to Mobile Bay Harley Davidson on the corner of Pleasant Valley Road and Cottage Hill and see the king of motorcycle credit. There's a little place in downtown Mobile on the corner of Fat and Happy, and it's one of my favorites. Bob's Downtown Diner isn't just a great place to eat, and home of the best French toast you'll ever eat is one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. It's also an important part of the community and not just the biker community. I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful for the, the bikers that I meet from all over the country. Bob's is a hot spot for bikers and very biker friendly but it's also family friendly i like to bring my kids here sunday after church for brunch please visit my friend tony sawyer at bob's downtown diner and check them out on the corner of fat and happy.com i'm attorney eric stevenson with all these lawyers advertising how do you know who to hire no lawyer can promise or guarantee results for the outcome of your case and neither can we but we can guarantee if you're not 100% satisfied with how my firm treats you during the first 30 days, we will return your files with no fees and no questions asked. Call Stevenson Klotz with a client satisfaction guarantee. Cottonmouth Customs is building bikes and building a reputation as one of the greats. The shop in Pensacola offers custom bikes, service, and tons of used parts upstairs. The mini museum of beautiful vintage bikes is worth the visit alone. I wanna personally thank Cottonmouth Customs for supporting the Biker Dad Show and making our dream of riding motorcycles and telling stories possible. And look, even the Blue Angels approve. This week's tech tip is brought to you by Mobile Bay Harley Davidson. All right, this week's tech talk is more about look and feel than uh, mechanics and electric electronics and, and engineering and that kind of stuff. We're talking about uh, fit and finish of your bike, making it fit you. And one of the things that I've seen over the years on the walls at Mobile Harley Davidson are these 
seats that say demo all over them. And I had no idea that um, you could just come and grab one and throw it on your bike real quick. Uh, Kim is here to talk to us about this stuff. Hey, yeah, so the way the demo seats work is you just give us your driver's license. Um, we'll throw this on your bike for you. Uh, you know, the motor company makes every, let's say, road glide, right? They make every single road glide the exact same, but it doesn't mean that you have to keep it the same. Um, and what may work for me, being a 5'5 five, five female, is not going to work for a 6'5 male or even a 6'5 female that may have longer arms or longer legs than me, right? So you can always throw a demo seat on. We also have demo windshields. Um, let's make sure that the wind's hitting you and hitting your helmet or not hitting your helmet, depending on what your personal preference is, where you like it, what's comfortable for you, what's comfortable with your specific riding style. And then there's just some other little things too that we can do, right, that can help the fit of your bike. We can always roll your handlebars forward. We can always roll them back if your arms are longer. There's just little things that you can do that really make your bike fit you better. And the other thing to keep in mind, what a lot of people don't realize, if you've taken a driver safe, a rider safety course, if you've taken a rider safety course, I've taken a couple of them, being comfort on your bike is actually a safety issue. Um, so if you're not happy with the seat that you have, come and tell us what you don't like about it. Let's start there. Um, and then we can kind of customize and figure out, okay, what you don't like about it, here's a seat that doesn't have those things or has the things that you're gonna need. And then we can kind of fit you from there. Uh, that's our tech talk for this week. It's all about safety, comfort, and fit, and your style. So just come down to the dealer and check it out and see what seat works for you. Down this bumpy logging road in the middle of nowhere in Mississippi, right next to a chicken farm and a, a, a hay bale, is this monument to legendary band Leonard Skinner. And it just so happens that we ran into another biker dad and his son who are on a trip of over 3,000 miles just to come and see this place. So take a look. <laughs> been my band since uh, uh, since I was a kid, man. And, and I remember when I found out that they crashed. I just I kind of broke my heart, man. down into Biloxi, that big old bridge they got. That was uh, that was something else, man. It's an honor. Yeah. It's a big honor to stand here. That guy, that guy Ronnie, oh, he's kind of changed. He just changed who I was back then. Um, he, they were way beyond their time. If you really listen to their music, um, they were talking about stuff that's going on now. You know, the drugs, the, the alcohol, the guns, the whole works, man. And uh, they were just way beyond their time cut way too short. It's a big off my bucket list type deal, I guess. Um, this is the only one place I wanted to be. I wanted to take my son on a ride and and we decided to jump on this uh, to go see his grandma and stuff. And, um, it's just something that we're never gonna be able to do again. Just being with my kid, man. You know, showing him, showing him the love that I have for motorcycles and, and, and teaching him uh, how to ride and, and to live this lifestyle with respect. We have more pictures and video of the Leonard Skinner Monument here in Mississippi on the Biker Dad blog. That's biker-dad.com. On the road in the middle of the woods in Mississippi, this is Chris Best for the Biker Dad blog. There's a little place in downtown Mobile on the corner of Fat and Happy, and it's one of my favorites. Bob's Downtown Diner isn't just a great place to eat, and home of the best French toast you'll ever eat is one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. It's also an important part of the community, and not just the biker community. I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful for the, the bikers that I meet from all over the country. Bob's is a hot spot for bikers and very biker friendly, but it's also family friendly. I like to bring my kids here Sunday after church for brunch. Please visit my friend Tony Sawyer at Bob's Downtown Diner and check them out on the corner of fatandhappy.com. 
Cottonmouth Customs is building bikes and building a reputation as one of the greats. The shop in Pensacola offers custom bikes, service, and tons of used parts upstairs. The mini museum of beautiful vintage bikes is worth the visit alone. I want to personally thank Cottonmouth Customs for supporting the Biker Dad Show and making our dream of riding motorcycles and telling stories possible. And look, even the Blue Angels approve. Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson is the king of motorcycle credit. Good credit, bad credit, we'll get you riding. With over 150 new and used motorcycles available, we have a motorcycle for you and your budget. New Harley-Davidson motorcycles starting as low as $119 a month. The professional team in MotorClothes is also here to help make sure that you're geared up for the riding season from head to toe. Come on down to Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson on the corner of Pleasant Valley Road and Cottage Hill and see the king of motorcycle credit. I'd like to introduce to you Martha Harris, owner of Eagles Talon Motorcycles in Pensacola and one of the most patriotic people you'll ever meet. I'm a patriot through and through. I will not let you disrespect my flag. Martha is a veteran, a retired firefighter, and one of the biggest supporters of our biker community. I absolutely love the motorcycle community and the riders, and they make this all worth my while. So please stop by and visit Eagles Talon for your leather, patches, apparel, and a whole lot more. Eagles Talon on Copter Road in Pensacola, one of my favorite places in the world. I'm attorney Eric Stevenson. With all these lawyers advertising, how do you know who to hire? No lawyer can promise or guarantee results for the outcome of your case, and neither can we. But we can guarantee, if you're not 100% satisfied with how my firm treats you during the first 30 days, we will return your files with no fees and no questions asked. Call Stevenson Klotz with a client satisfaction guarantee. Your home for Lex and Terry in the morning rocks your workday with Pretty Reckless. Foo Fighters. And Lincoln Park. Available on over 2,000 smart devices. The Gulf Coast Rock Station. TK101. Our Back on Two Stories are brought to you by Stevenson Klotz and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. Michael Stiver lives, eats, and breathes motorcycles, but his lifetime of riding motorcycles nearly came to an end in September 2020. Uh, I remember about to go into him saying, I'm going to hit this guy, and then hearing the crunch, and then uh, I woke up on the ground uh, to somebody asking if I knew what had happened. Police say a drunk driver pulled out in front of Michael at lunchtime in the middle of the day. He had broken ribs, a broken back, a shattered arm, and punctured lungs. But Michael never once stopped to think that he wouldn't get back on to it. Yeah, I did about uh, about six or seven months of physical therapy. Uh, so after months of rehab and careful consideration, Michael finally took his first ride slow through his neighborhood. And finally now, he's back on to it. It's definitely a uh, work in progress uh, because for me, you know, when you do get in an accident, uh, you lose a lot of your confidence uh, you have uh, when riding. Uh, so, you know, the first little bit was just getting on my bike and riding around my block, kind of staying out of traffic. It's great to see my friend back on two wheels and encouraging others to get back on two as well. You know, aside from the pain of, uh, you know, the trauma from the accident, uh, it's a very mental thing. So, you know, for people going through the same thing, just kind of hang in there. This is Biker Day. Biker Day. Your home for Lex and Terry in the morning rocks your workday with ACDC. Shine down. And offspring. Available on over 2,000 smart devices. The Gulf Coast Rock Station. TK 101. I'd like to introduce to you Martha Harris, owner of Eagles Talon Motorcycles in Pensacola and one of the most patriotic people you'll ever meet. I'm a patriot through and through. I will not let you disrespect my flag. Martha is a veteran, a retired firefighter, and one of the biggest supporters of our biker community. I absolutely love the motorcycle community and 
the riders, and they make this all worth my while. So please stop by and visit Eagles Talon for your leather, patches, apparel, and a whole lot more. Eagles Talon on Copter Road in Pensacola, one of my favorite places in the world. Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson is the king of motorcycle credit. Good credit, bad credit, we'll get you riding. With over 150 new and used motorcycles available, we have a motorcycle for you and your budget. New Harley-Davidson motorcycles starting as low as $119 a month. The professional team in Motor Clothes is also here to help make sure that you're geared up for the riding season from head to toe. Come on down to Mobile Bay Harley-Davidson on the corner of Pleasant Valley Road and Cottage Hill and see the king of motorcycle credit. There's a little place in downtown Mobile on the corner of Fat and Happy, and it's one of my favorites. Bob's Downtown Diner isn't just a great place to eat, and home of the best French toast you'll ever eat is one of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. It's also an important part of the community and not just the biker community. I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful for the, the bikers that I meet from all over the country. Bob's is a hot spot for bikers and very biker friendly but it's also family friendly i like to bring my kids here sunday after church for brunch please visit my friend tony sawyer at bob's downtown diner and check them out on the corner of fat and happy.com Cottonmouth Customs is building bikes and building a reputation as one of the greats the shop in pensacola offers custom bikes service and tons of used parts upstairs the mini museum of beautiful vintage bikes is worth the visit alone. I want to personally thank Cottonmouth Customs for supporting the Biker Dad show and making our dream of riding motorcycles and telling stories possible. And look, even the Blue Angels approve. I'm attorney Eric Stevenson. With all these lawyers advertising, how do you know who to hire? No lawyer can promise or guarantee results for the outcome of your case, and neither can we. But we can guarantee if you're not 100% satisfied with how my firm treats you during the first 30 days, we will return your files with no fees and no questions asked. Call Stevenson Klotz with the Client Satisfaction Guarantee. All right, that's it for this week's Biker Dad Show. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching us. Please do one more thing for me. That's follow us on all the social media. But most importantly, please hit subscribe on the YouTube channel because that means you'll get alerts whenever we post a new video, including new episodes of the Biker Dad TV show every Sunday morning. So I'd like to thank you all for your support and for watching, but I'd also like to thank those who make this financially possible, including Bob's Downtown Diner here in downtown Mobile, Alabama, big supporters of the biker community and big supporters of the Biker Dad Show. So that's important and awesome. It doesn't matter if you live in Alabama or not, if you're rolling through here anywhere near here, it's worth it to come down for the food and the hospitality. Tony with Bob's Downtown Diner will totally treat you right, that's for sure. Again, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We'll see you right here on this television station same time next week or right here on the YouTube channel. This is Chris Best in downtown Mobile, Alabama. Thank you for watching the Biker Dad Show.